You don't have to say anything. You should say something. Uh, what should I say? Nothing. This is just temporary, right? Just taking some distance, calibrating. Right. Do you know where you'll go? You have a tick. How's Jeremiah? Good. Is that your story? Yes. Okay. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. What? You're old enough to know. Oh my God, what are you laughing at? I don't do it all the time. And when I do, I do it in my car. But since my convert is broken, we're using your car. <laughs> I guess drug tests aren't mandatory. We administer them, we don't take them. Besides, hospital would be cleared out. Half the staff are prescription addicts. Can I stay with you a while? I thought you were okay. I am okay. We're just taking some days off. I thought couples were supposed to take vacations together. We're on a pause. A couple of days. I need my personal space. That's all I need. Oh, God. I'm the embodiment of a stereotype. Well, I can't face them sober. They're not nice people. No, they're not. Put this out, put this out. <coughs> what? Just put it up there. Oh my God. Just look straight ahead. What? Here she comes. Put this out. Don't, no, no, don't look, look at her. Don't look. Girl, we can't ignore her. Yes, we can. <laughs> Hi, Grandma. Why are you two sitting out in front of my house like common criminals? <gasps> Jean. Hmm? Why you call smell like Rifa? It's the new air freshener. Both of you are liars and drug addicts. Nice to see you too, Mom. You're becoming a drug fiend now. Oh my God. It's marijuana, not heroin. <laughs> you two are a bad influence on each other. <laughs> Is there a great coat? You don't look right. What do I look like? Like a spin drift. It's not nice. I don't look like a spindrift. I don't even know what a spindrift is. <sighs> Pull your socks up. Thought you were supposed to be some sort of a big shot. A writer. I'm a multicultural wonder guy, according to The New Yorker. You shouldn't believe what other people say about you. The man's so big, he can't come to dinner. Hi, Mom. 
Why do you look like that? Everyone's got commentary today. I'm fine. I'm talking about that turban. What's wrong with it? Andre Leon Talley wears one all the time. You pregnant? No. Oh, mommy. Well, if I don't ask, who will? I mean, you know, the so many babies in the trash. Children are a drain, but better alive than dead. Maybe I should have a kid. When people ask me what I did all day, I could tell them I swung by the Montessori. People respect those kinds of activities. You're really not very smart, are you? You want kids? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He asked you to get married. We've talked about it. I don't know what kind of mother you make. You know, you were always rude and badly dressed. You sneak in extra clothes in your backpack in kindergarten, and then you come home mismatched like a motherless child. You know, I basically raised her. And who raised you? I raised myself. You're the youngest. You're supposed to feel special. No one's special. I'm certainly not. I'm always trying to get sympathy. When is dinner ready? I'm hungry. Can't you ever change? It's been washed. <sighs> Call Janet. Ow, if we wait on Janet and her husband and her whole trailer load of kids, we're going to be waiting all night. Two counts as a trailer load? Don't talk back. Jean, call your Auntie Janet. Why do I have to call her? No one is invited back here. We're here. Oh, look at those there babies. There they are. So nice. Oh, wow. 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 <laughs> and here's the little one. Oh my goodness, don't hide. Hi, girl. Hey, Janet. Hi, girls. Go be good and put coats on the other room. Yeah. 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 Y
does Daphne still live here? Grandma! Uh, sir? Uh, uh, oh my god! Grandma. Grandma! Mm -hmm. I'm really sorry. Um, were, were you guys close? I didn't know him. You just came along for the ride, or? You said someone should go. Oh, yeah, because I thought you knew him. Nope. Maybe he's a Jehovah's Witness. Was that even your place? One of my aunts, Anne, she's a nurse. She pretended to tend to my grandma. Oh, well, her pulse was plenty strong when we left. My great-grandma lived to be 99, okay? Daphne has decades left. And that faint, let me tell you something. That wasn't real, that was... That was a dramatization. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying she fake fainted? Yep. Why would she do that? Avoidance. Those women have a lot of secrets. What kind of secrets? Wouldn't be the first man they killed. All this one had to do was ring a buzzer. <laughs> I'm scaring you. No, no. Maybe a little. <laughs> um, is it weird that I want to ask you out right now? Yes, considering there is a dead body in between us right now. Can I get your number? Really? Uh-huh. Kind of saying someone. Kind of. It's a gray area. Well, in case it becomes black and white. Gordon Christopher Jones? Jones? Talk to your family, then come back. I, uh, I'll call you. Who is that man? Who? Oh. The man that died on our front step? Gordon Jones? Oh, God. Is he dead? Yes, he's dead. Is he ours? What the hell do you mean by ours? A Jones? Oh, God. Jones is a very common name. Well, is he on our branch? He's but a twig on our branch. Oh, my God. I'm not sure you're comprehending what I'm saying. Maybe we're not. Lisa. Yes, ma'am? Your grandfather has passed away. Oh. This isn't normal. He's got a lot of nerve dying on my doorstep after over 20 years missing in action. I thought you said he went back to Jamaica. So I heard. Maybe he came to make amends? Highly unlikely. OK, so one of you needs to go to the hospital. Well, it's not going to be me. Hello? What do you want from me? Um, acknowledgement of what's going on? He disappeared. Now he's dead. If you're not going to help me clean up, get out the kitchen. What is someone not telling me? I think I have a lump in my breast. You don't. You haven't even checked. Which one? Left. Raise your arm. Nothing. The other left. Which is it? Right. Raise your arm. Big boobies. Oh my god. Not even close. Nothing. Maybe I should get a mammogram. You cannot afford a mammogram. This is technically my lunch, and I'm billing your test to a person who actually has health care. The doctor stopped calling. No more house calls. 
think he's seeing another doctor in the hospital. He's a cheater and a classist. No, he is a bitch. A B-I-T-C-H. Ouch! You're the classist. Your blood pressure's too high. You're skinny, but you're fat inside. Is this how you treat all your patients? Maybe you're too aggressive with the doctor. Maybe that's why you moved up in the hospital food chain. And I'm not fat on the inside. I have stress. About what? You live rent-free. And I'm not aggressive. You're very aggressive. Maybe we should hold off on the blood sample. You're too preoccupied to be using needles. What are you talking about? Stop being such a baby. <clears throat> Come with me to the hospital. Come with me to collect Gordon. First of all, he is not a tax return. Second of all, no. Planning a funeral for him. For what? It's cathartic. Is that supposed to be some writer term I should know? He was your father. He walked out. He doesn't deserve a funeral. I'm not wasting any more time on this. There are more pressing issues, like my bladder. I'm pregnant. Excuse me? Are you deaf? I said I'm pregnant. The doctors? What are you gonna do? I'm not sure. Damn, Anne. No protection? Aren't you supposed to be a health professional? I don't even know who this guy is when I think about it. He could be a f psycho. Mm -hmm. I had to check him out before I make any decisions. What do you mean, check him out? This is ridiculous. You're stupid. Who spies on people? It's not sane. Gene, if you are not going to be supportive, you don't have to get involved. I'm not supportive. I don't want to be involved. You made me drive here. I can't make you do anything. You threatened to kick me out. I think you're diverting your energy away from real life decisions you desperately need to make in your life. What decisions? I am doing background. This is pathetic. You know what? What is pathetic is that everything you own fits in your trunk. Oh, there he is. That's him. This is really anticlimactic. He has loved up on some redhead and I'm having his child? I mean, in his defense, he doesn't know. It's all just so pedestrian. Look at her. You can't be with anyone acting like this. If I were to have this baby and it's a boy, he'd be some, some loser blonde boy with the, like a womanizer and stupid. If it's a boy. If it's a girl, she'll probably be loose. Unfortunate. You should confront them. What would I say? You better let that home know. You know what? Forget it. Just drive you away. You better. Don't. You just I'm do not. it. Yeah. You better. Go no. tell him, man. Go do it. Go do it. Yeah. Go. Do it. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Let that hoe know. Get I'm gonna him, man. Let the... I'm gonna... say anything to your mother. I never tell her anything anyways.
to give these things back? Why are you going through my things? That was like three years ago. Why are you counting my years? I'm not counting your years, relax. Don't tell me to relax my own. Jean, are these my clothes on the floor? I'm sorry. You know, you are always setting yourself up for an apology. I feel like I've been babysitting you your entire life. I feel like I'm still babysitting you. And? Get your out of my closet. And when are you leaving? my bag. The air mattress is in the closet. Don't touch anything. I keep my client's furnishings in here. Thank you. Don't be ungrateful. Hey, what are you doing right now? Oh, this is your mom's place. I don't live here. <laughs> yeah, I figured. I think you're cute. Like, young Eartha Kit cute. Like, you're kind of crazy cute. Okay, I don't know how to take that. Tomorrow. <laughs> huh? Tomorrow night? Um, maybe we could go, I don't know, to the park? Or I don't know kitchen. about tomorrow night. Oh, sh wait, then, then Friday. There's a stage that plays. Right. I don't know about any night. Let's not make this an everyday thing. Oh. Right. Okay, well, uh, why again? feeling displaced lately, and I have certain commitments. Right. You're seeing someone. It's tricky. Tricky? Yeah. Mm, you're, I know, you're either seeing someone or you're not. I don't know. <laughs> it's never that black or white. There's purple label. Oh, maybe it is for him. Maybe what is for him? Black and white. Maybe it's over for him. Okay, you don't know what you're talking about. I am not the one sleeping on an air mattress. I don't know. Okay, this is a bad attempt to get me to like you. Well, I'm not attempting anything, so...
You must be a guest of Jean's, I take it. Uh-huh. Um, hi. It's nice to meet you. Jean, who is this black man in my hallway? Ray. Ray. It's getting a bit late. Yeah. Uh, sorry, ma'am. Jean. Yes, Maureen. you good Jean. god you caught me okay i'm you look good though you've always been a depressive you can't be a depressive you act like you hate your life i do and the worst part is there are people who hate me more than i hate me and i'm not talking about my mom god Jean, you're... no no the other day i read somewhere that Someone said I was overhyped. I didn't even know people still use hype. I don't want to talk about me. Can we talk about us? I don't think that's possible right now. Why? Are you seeing someone else? No. And if I was it, it wouldn't be about that. Does that mean you're seeing someone else? You're probably halfway to marrying another woman. You always jump to the worst scenario. Well, are you? No, no. I want to get back together. Not now. When? I don't know. I need a time frame. You're acting hysterical. So what? Maybe I am. You used to love that about me, remember? Jean, please, just... Uh, I'm pathetic. You're not pathetic. Yes, I am. It's fine. I've come to terms with it. I gotta go. I got group. Therapy? Glad you're working on your issues. Ha ha. It was, uh, it was good to see you. Don't lie to me. Don't. Three times. You see, you know, the, the reason why I brought it up is because I was doing this interview with his family about a week ago for my book. And it was incredible what they knew about their history. Mm. I mean, how they, came, how they came north and, uh, during the Civil War, see, they were going through some, I mean, obviously, some, some, some trying times. Yeah. But the amount of information that they knew about their own history just blew me away. So, you got something you want to say, Jean? I mean, there has to be another story. We managed to make it out of the big house. Luckily, it was in jail this time. Don't you ever get tired of this? Tired of what? Tired of writing about the same thing. You're trying to say that slavery is redundant? Does everything have to be about slavery, poverty, a man in a dress? Come on, guys. We come here to discuss our ideas, talk about our progress, to write. Progress, progress. That's a good example. What's your progress there, Gene? I mean, you come here every Monday afternoon and you don't contribute. Look, what are you writing? Tell us what you're writing. We want to know. <laughs> I don't know, but not that. <laughs> I'm out of here. You know, you're sick. Really? It's self-hatred. It's supposed to be a positive place. Place to write. Hey, I'm positive. <laughs> Ironic. How'd you know I was here? I got you this job. What kind of agent are you? When I signed you out of Columbia, I thought you'd be the next Zadie Smith. British. 
The New York Times book review said that your short story collection had promise. Had. And you shouldn't believe what people say about you. They're expecting me to write the next quintessential black experience, and that's just too much pressure. I'm no Solomon Northup. You play the race card more than anyone I know. It's an important issue. I should have pitched you for that on Roker bio. The weatherman? Your publisher paid you for your second novel two years ago. The only thing that's gotten better in the last two years is my wardrobe. I'm like some sad rapper who spent all their money on diamond fronts. I didn't even get my pair. I'm broke. The receipts always go in here. Okay, okay. Can you grab me that bottle with the red label? ignore her callous indifference to both the living and the dead. I thought we came to America so you didn't have to sell food on the side of the road. It's just part time. So what are we going to do about the body? We? Yeah, hospital needs a next of kin to sign papers. And why would I go? Because you're next of kin. Oh, huh. that counts for kin. Gene, do you like this lamp? Your father is laid out like the last pope. If, if he stays in the morgue another night, they're going to start calling him James Brown. And there isn't even any money to fight over. Wait, is No. There? I don't owe him anything. So are you going to come or not? So if you could just sign up on there, please. Is Grandma still married to Gordon? That is none of my business. Ray. Wasn't expecting to see you so soon. Jean. You know I work here, right? You know that. I don't know why I'm here. You're good at events. Events I want to attend. Now, did Mr. Jones have any burial preferences? I don't think so. Buried. Are you planning something small or big? Small, since no one's going to attend. Something small, like five or 10, 10. What kind of man was he? What do you mean? Well, was he a modest sort of man, or was he more ostentatious? I don't know. <sighs> he liked to put on a show. He was a musician. Was he famous? No, I wouldn't say that. But he had a few albums. He played on the road. At home, he, he kept mostly to himself. And he would play records. And sometimes he would he would let me listen. <clears throat> this is one of our more modest caskets. It's very reasonably priced. This is cardboard. He'd wake up and die again if you buried him in this. <laughs> now, this is the classic. 
Cherry wood. Ooh. What do you want, Anne? Why do you sound like that? What are you doing? Nothing much. You need to drive me to the doctor. It's the least you can do. You kicked me out. You're a bad house guest, yes or no? Yes. Just up here. It's a very secluded plot. You'll have the uh, shade from the sun in the summer when you visit. It's actually a uh, double plot. Oh. I'm okay. Are you sure? I'm fine. Oh, you hit your head pretty hard. Uh, maybe a little dizzy. Oh. Are you the only paramedic in Brooklyn? Okay, so this is my turf. It's not my fault you're clumsy. Also, they said you mentioned my name to dispatch. I'm sensitive about my clumsiness, and I already know you. Uh-huh. Usually it's a little late for paramedics at a cemetery. Oh. <laughs> Ow! Oh, okay, here, calm down, look. Look at my finger. Okay, I think you're gonna be fine. You're almost done with your shift? Yeah. Uh, some of the other paramedics are throwing me a party because today is my last day. How will you pick up girls now? I'm starting at NYU. Still date younger. Medical school? Nursing. Gender progressive. You're making fun of me. No. No, yeah, you're making fun of me. It's a very admirable profession. Hmm. Huh. Oh, thank you. Drive. I said drive! Hold on. God, he treated me like I was some loose teenager. So you're still pregnant? He told me I was definitely pregnant, which I already knew, and that if I wanted to terminate the pregnancy, I would have to come back. Yeah, that's what they had my friend Jeanette do when we were in high school. Said I need to think about whether or not I'll have another opportunity to get pregnant. There will always be an opportunity. Who's he to talk to me like that? Maybe you wanted to just make sure you were sure. I know what my options are. I know what my options are, okay? So if you're gonna take sides... Okay, I'm not taking sides, I'm sideless. You are totally taking sides. I'm neutral. But... You should be sure. About what? Another fatherless black baby? Okay, when you put it that way. Can we drive now? Jean. Maureen's daughter, Jean. Mrs. Morrison. Oh, I haven't seen you for years. How old are you now? On getting dressed? We get dressed here. Dad still gets mail. Excuse me? Dad still gets mail. Are you going back to Jeremiah? What? When are you going back to Jeremiah? You should. I'm not sure who else will marry you. I was leaving today. What do you think this is, a B&B? &B? If you're gonna stay here, you'll have responsibilities. Such as? I need you to pick the girls up after school tomorrow. Can I trust you? I'll have to push back cocktail hour. School ends at 2.30. I'll still have to push it. Also, my liquor cabinet is lighter since you got here. I'm worried that you're an alcoholic. Me too. Where's Uncle Michael? People who don't pay rent don't get to ask questions. 2.30. You should pick us up every day. Normally, Daddy drops us off and Mommy picks us up. Daddy's on a business trip. 
If I wasn't picking you guys up, you'd be latchkey kids. How long are you staying with us? I don't know. Are you homeless? <laughs> kind of. Today, at school, Mr. Johnson told me that Mr. Obama being president means there's two big O's. Gene. What? I'm sorry, Lisa. What did you say? Obama and Oprah, the two big O's. Sounds like your teacher's hung up on alliteration. Alliteration? <laughs> Be careful, Lisa. But there's Auntie Laura's house. Who's Auntie Laura? Mommy's sister. Mommy doesn't have a sister named Auntie Laura. Uh-huh. You he met her last week. Mommy said that she's our long lost aunt. You weren't supposed to say anything, Lisa. Mm -hmm. You look like a twig. Excuse me? Hi, Hi Auntie Laura. Laura. Hi, girls. Come on in. You're going to be late for work. I know. Baby, this is Jean Jones. More family? <laughs> I'm going to be late for work. Mm. Promise you'll come back? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I guess Gordon was a bit of a rolling stone. So you never met him either? I met him a couple of times as a kid, but that's about it. My mom got remarried, and I didn't even know that he had another family. Do you have kids? No. I can't. I met Janet a couple of weeks ago. She found me. I haven't met the others. She found you? Yeah. Right before you died. You didn't know? Janet didn't tell you? People abuse your time. Prioritize yourself first. Don't take on other people's problems in lieu of your own. Yes. I feel like I always let people monopolize my time. Always. Oh, yeah. I'm Piper. We met in the hallway. I love your blog. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you next time. See ya. What are you doing here? We came to see you speak. What are you doing here? What do you know about Daddy? Other than he's dead? He had another daughter. What? What? Is she younger than me? Laura Simmons. No. Laura? Laura from Queens. How did you find out? I overheard Mom tell someone when we were younger. Why didn't you say anything? He lived in Harlem. What is he doing here? Hey, Don't Mike. wave at him. Here's your house. I know his name.
At the end of your message, press 1. Hey, Jeremiah. Um, you said we could talk. I could stop by. Um, I'm just... I believe all dates should take place in the home for safety reasons. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting a call, but I appreciate impromptu dates. Where are your glasses? There. Found them. I don't really drink whiskey. Every man should drink whiskey. <sighs> Cheers. Cheers. Uh, huh. Okay, if you're gonna drink that, you should take off your coat. Hey, come on. Careful. It's Versace. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's comfortable. <laughs> oh, leave me alone. What? Who am I to judge? I'm homeless. You're not homeless. Yes. I don't want to infringe on the truly impoverished, but mm -hmm. I'm in between places, sleeping on a small couch. At least you have a comfortable bed. You have a comfortable bed, right? You know, I, I do have a comfortable bed. Okay. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> what? Oh. What? what kind of girl do you think I am? I haven't even finished my second drink yet. I go to church. Really? Yes, at Ascendian Baptist. I'm more like a bedside Baptist. I usually watch online, but I plan on going tomorrow. Do you want me to stop? No. Are you trying to sneak out? No. Yeah, you are. I'm not sure how these casual things are supposed to go. Some people like their space in the morning. No, I don't. I was talking about me. Hey, well, I was hoping for more of an encore performance. You'll have to catch me at the next tour stop. Do you have somewhere to be? Church. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were joking. It's Sunday. I'm black. I have an obligation. Um, do you want to get breakfast? Coffee? Hot? See you later? 
Where's my purse? I got it. Bye. <laughs> It's for later. drive me to church. You were late, and you're not a good driver. I'm just tired today, that's all. We're in the balcony. What's wrong with the balcony? It's farther from God. It's technically closer. We're with the tourists. <laughs> Look how they're dressed. Do you think they dress like this at the Vatican? I'm really not sure when church became a tourist attraction. Like we're animals. They came to worship. Hmm, I'm sure. Come to Harlem, watch them sing and dance. Good morning, Miss Jones. You're both very ungodly. But at least Jane and I are here. Your true heathen children didn't even come. You didn't come home last night. Shh. And you smell like sex. Please stand. We will do the call to worship. It can be found on page 59. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord, the Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Come, my heart says. Seek his face. Your face, Lord, do I seek. O Lord God of our salvation, we worship and adore you. We will sing your praises forever and ever. Amen. Please sit. You want some food? This ghetto food? Are you crazy? Grandma, it's soul food. What's so soulful about Greece? Good morning. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. I thought you might not come. Listen, um, we really have to go do something, so... Is there gonna be a funeral for Gordon? Yeah, no. Uh, something private. That's nice. Is it? He knew Gordon? Sounds like. Who is he? No idea. Member of the church. I mean, Gordon went here before. Stop digging. And I'm not going to a funeral.
What? Who ordered the limo? Jean, did you order the limo? It was a waste of money. Are we going to a funeral or a family reunion? What? What did you say? Nothing. <laughs> Will you shut that baby up? So, what are we supposed to do at a wake anyway? Make better things. Grandma, did you know Gordon was living in Harlem when he died? Who has time to keep up with Gordon's low-class whereabouts? Who's that? Who? Her. Laura Simmons. Who is she? Gordon's other daughter. What did you say? Oh, this is becoming one hell of a show. Where you drag her out from? I invited her. <laughs> what are you crying for? It is awake. I feel kind of funny. Sad? No, not sad, just funny. <sighs> How long must we stay here? <laughs> we have it to eat. She's my sister. Half sister. I was planning on easing her into it, but Jean invited her. Janet found her. Jean, did you think about your grandmother and how she would feel? Well, Grandma lied to me. About what? The other day, I saw her going into a man's apartment, and then we were at church and we saw him again, and she acted like she didn't know who he was. What did he look like? like your husband. Legally. What the hell are you doing here, Michael? Cammy told me where you were. Cammy tells me I can't pick my own daughters up from the babysitter without your permission. Yeah, that's right. You told the babysitter I was a crackhead, Janet. Well, it seemed to fit. You got all the symptoms. Lying, disappearing, fiending, fiending. You need a psychiatrist. I need a psychiatrist. Why didn't you just go away? Get out of here! You can't just keep them. I can do whatever the I want. You're crazy. You're crazy. And you're a liar. And you're a loser. And you know what else? They're not even your kids. They're my kids. So I'm going to keep them. You lost all your rights, mister, when you left. You lost the rights. You can't do it. Get out of here. I think you should leave, Uncle Michael. Get out of here. No, she needs to grow up. Don't you talk to my niece. Just walk away. Yeah, run away, bitch! Go! You run away! Get out of here! Bitch! Yeah! Bitch! Bitch! Go on! What's going on? Nothing! Nathan. Uh, hey, Jean. Right inside. Hey, Ray. Thanks for coming. Mm -hmm. 
Did you go to Harlem? To that address? Not yet. Is that where he was living? I think so. He was so handsome. His only good characteristic. Was he living there all this time? I don't know. He looks skinny, though. What? He looks skinny. Why are you inspecting the damn body, Mom? Why are you asking so many questions? He never called? Why would he call? Did he ever call? Yeah, maybe. When? What does it matter? <sighs> this is unbelievable. You are really something. You said he went back to Jamaica. What happened? Did you run him off? Mom, he lived over the bridge. And now what? You gonna go chasing after that, that other man? The same one daddy caught you with before he left? I don't know what you're No, you know about. exactly what I'm talking about. Gene saw you with him last week. His name is Cecil. I'm not the only one who acted illegitimately. It's not Laura's fault. Why didn't you tell me that he died? That didn't seem like the right time. The right time? It was a very awkward conversation to have so early on. Why did you look for me? I was working up to Gordon. This is so disappointing. Mom, did he live here this entire time? Yes. So, because you two couldn't forgive each other for all of your... We didn't have a father. Yes. This is all your fault with your digging. You are hysterical. This is a private event. Yes, I am hysterical. And I am homeless. And I am tired. Why does everything in this family have to be so secretive? Stop it, Anne! Do not yell at me! Stop it. This is awake. And leave Anne alone. She's pregnant. <laughs> not yours to tell. I'm sorry, but you keep acting like it doesn't matter. Like it means nothing. Why does everyone in this family act like nothing's ever happening? Gordon is dead. And I'm having a really hard time with it. You didn't even know him. And I blame all of you for that. And many other things. My father is dead, Mom. He died of cancer. He didn't abandon you. Well, he's not here. You haven't talked about him since he died. Why can't we talk about him? Why are there no pictures up of him? Gene, there's nothing to talk about. What am I allowed to know in this family? You don't know anything. You're just what he left behind. That's exactly how you treat me. Like I'm some burden. Gene is not marrying the Kendall big American dream boyfriend. Yeah, he's a rat. <laughs> now we can all be single. I have a husband. I'm sorry, were we not just outside? Who is that boy back in the third row? That is Ray. Tell him to come back some other time. 
I am done. Grandma. But I brought some of Gordon's stuff. Uh, uh, yeah. Thanks. Well, sure, it wasn't much. I picked them up. Um, I read it. Your book? It's, it's really good. You don't have to say that. Oh, well, it's a well, little sad. It's supposed to be funny. I can't be sure how long Joseph and me will last. It's like there's this expiration date chasing our relationship that only I know about. Not a very funny first line, Jean. It's dark humor. Do you really feel like that? Like you're destined to end up alone? I don't know. Maybe. You should keep writing. Ray, thank you, okay? It's just, it's not a good time for me, in general. Not a curse or some family tradition. It's a choice. Stop popping by. You watch me. I do not watch you. Gene, I see you. You drive by the park. You spy on me. I don't spy. Okay, maybe I watch. <sighs> you look really pretty. No, I don't. Yeah, yeah, you, you do. Thanks. Are you going out? Yeah, yeah. Are you going out with someone else? Okay. I feel sick. You turn me into a psychotic. I feel guilty. Why? I don't think we should get back together. Why not? You just seem so lost right now. You weren't like this when we met. You you were almost cold, like you didn't care one way or another if we stayed together. No. You went from complete apathy about me to, 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 to absolute dependence. Gene, I don't think you're happy with me. No. I'm not happy with myself. There's a difference. And you're the one trying to sneak out of this. I'm sorry. Are you? Yeah, I am. Really sorry. Well, that's comforting. I have nowhere else to go. That's not true.
the performance with a little commentary. I raised you to have a greater appreciation for the arts. You've never offered to buy us anything. You're using Alvin Ailey to manipulate us into a conversation. I'm not ashamed of that. I'm supporting modern dance. I'm not going to the funeral. A man is only buried once. Why should I go? He wasn't my father. Although he beat me sometimes like he was. Is that true? No, it's not. How do you know? He could have been. Is it? No. Does anyone have anything they want to say? I will. I have accomplished a lot in my life, but failed at what was most important. I have let egos and resentment dictate my actions. As a father, I have been MIA. I have been AWOL, missing from the lives of my children. I saying this knowing that I've made mistakes and I'll continue to make more. Wishing that I could have been a home for my girls and my wife. I abandoned my responsibilities acting like a boy instead of a man. My family is weaker because of this. That was Gordon. Bye, Daddy. The funeral director said there's an open pot next to Gordon if you want it, Grandma. Not even for Jesus. <laughs> Mama's mean, but she loves you. I miss you, Daddy. I know. Gordon lived. And I knew about Laura. Sometimes when you don't know what to do, okay. you do nothing. You can waste an entire life being lazy, refusing to apologize. Why did he leave me his house? What am I going to do with it? You could sell it. I should keep the baby. The father is suspect. He doesn't want it. But it'll be ours.
Where are you going to live? I could live with you. You can stay at Gordon's. Oh, thank God. You have to pay rent. <laughs> So they're publishing Gordon's memoirs. And did you ask me to write the foreword? Really? What will you say? Nothing true. My mom made me promise. So you're writing again? About love and other misfortunes. Any misadventures? Mm -hmm. Not with anyone that doesn't make me want to curl up in the past. I didn't feel that way with Ray. Have you talked to him? He called a few months back, but it was a charity. He's the patron saint of the neurotic. I'll let the crazy out up front. You know, vulnerability is a good thing. What are you doing here? Making a choice. Kind of choice to be with you. Almost our expiration date. Very long shelf life. <laughs> How's nursing? It is an admirable profession. <laughs> is that a rental? No. <laughs> <laughs> 